Change is good. We have decided to move. Renovations. With that said, there's gonna be a little bit of a change. I love making YouTube videos. <laughs> just sit down and have a casual chat with you guys about embracing change. I know that change can be a really scary thing but the funny thing about life is I think this is like a famous quote or something where it says that the only thing that is constant in life is change. No matter what you will always be experiencing change whether you're changing your personality changes your body changes your life changes maybe you were single and then you get married or you're moving into a new house which is the change that is coming up for us but I'll get more into that in a little bit but um, basically the only thing in life that is constant is change life constantly changes and we need to learn to adapt as life changes and we need to learn to embrace change now I've always been very good about embracing change if something changes if something happens even though it sometimes seems a little bit scary at first but I will try and calm myself down and tell myself okay you know what there's no need to be anxious about this there's no need to be nervous about this everything's gonna be okay you know you have that little voice in the back of your head and so you talk yourself down and you calm yourself down and you tell yourself well you know what change is good um, I'm gonna be okay it's gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay and then the change happens and you learn to adapt and you learn to live with the change whatever it is um, some change can be really hard and difficult for example losing um, somebody that you love that's a very hard and difficult change the changes that I've gone through is moving out of my parents house going to university um, that was a big change and then coming back from university I have been living on my own for six years and then coming back from university and living with my parents again and then moving out of my parents house and getting my own place as an adult as a working adult that was again change and then meeting my husband and getting married was a change having a baby is a change getting a new job is a change you know gaining weight is a change that is a more like personal you know change to my personal my body um, things like that so there's a lot of changes that we go through in life changes that I've gone through and for the most part I handle change okay but I, it seems to me like as I'm getting older and older I'm starting to fi find a little bit difficulty experiencing change um, I love my little comfort zone um, I love my little bubble that I stay in um, and I don't want it to change too much if I'm comfortable with something I like it and yeah I don't want it to change too much but the reason why I'm talking about embracing change is because we have decided to move we are renting a bigger place and we're also renting closer to town because where we live right now it's quite far from the center far from town far from everybody far from everything and so yeah we've decided to move closer to town and uh, get a little bit of a bigger place the place that we're currently renting at is new I love it there's literally nothing wrong with it when we moved in here I was comfortable it felt like home to me and everything like that the only thing is it doesn't have a bath and we don't have a boundary wall and we don't have a garage and so yeah I think it's just time that we get a place that actually has a boundary wall and a garage and a bath because I would love to be able to soak in a bubble bath on a long stressful day so we've decided to move and it happened pretty quickly it happened faster than I thought it was going to happen I mean I think we were we were searching for two months I was under the impression that I needed to give a two months notice to my current leaser that I'm renting from because of COVID-19 you know the market has really dropped and the prices has dropped so much they said that you know that rule doesn't apply anymore so I could only give I only had to give one month's notice you know I thought I would use those the two months to look for a place so we started looking for a place in um, end of July and we were looking in the beginning of August and mid-August we found a place and yeah, so now we are, we gave our notice at the end of August and so we are moving in 
from the 1st of October, which is really exciting. You know, I'm just so excited that I get to have a bubble bath every once in a while. And also, only having a shower is difficult when you have a baby because you have no comfortable place to bath your baby in. And now that she's starting to move around more and she likes to play in the water, it's become challenging to give her a bath. The, the baby bath that you can buy is starting to get smaller and smaller because she's growing so fast. So it'll be nice to have a bath where you can give where we can give our little baby a bath. The place that we're currently staying at is a two-bedroom, one bathroom, a kitchen, and a sitting room slash living room area, which was okay, it was good for us. Um it was good for us for a long time, but I think it's time that we get a little bit of a bigger place now. The place that we're moving to is a three bedroom. It's got two bathrooms. The master bathroom has got a beautiful big bath, twin sink or his and her sinks or what do you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. We're so excited to move into this new place. Yeah, it's another change that is coming up for us. I mean, we just went through a big change. We just had a baby, but she's now one years old and um, <laughs> I guess it was time for another change again. You know, with the markets dropping and the prices, the housing prices dropping so much because of COVID, we thought that, you know, now is the perfect time to move and get a bigger place and affordable price. Not much more than what we're paying here, but the benefits that we're getting is much, much more. So, for example, we get a, we get a three car garage, which can easily fit four cars. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it has a bright area and the cool thing about this place which I had always hoped for and dreamed about but I didn't think it would come to me this quickly it has its own little separate laundry room which is kind of you know outside of the house it's not connected to the house and um, which would be better if it was connected to the house but still my own laundry room are you kidding me um, my son's gonna be so happy because usually what would end up happening is if it's cold and wet outside and we can't hang laundry up outside we would hang laundry in his room on the little inside laundry shelf hanging racks I guess you could call it and so yeah I know for him he's a teenager now and he wants his own privacy in his own space and I kept on invading his space by hanging laundry in his room so he's gonna be very happy that we don't have to do that anymore we have a separate laundry room the only thing is we need to get our tumble dryer fixed it's not working obviously we, we you know it's just it's a nice place it's comfortable it's convenient the laundry room is there or um, we can hang it on the hanging rack but inside the laundry room it's out of sight it's not bothering anybody so yeah this this new place is it's nice um we just have to do a little bit of renovations and I'm not I'm saying that renovations because it's not really renovations we just have to clean it up a little bit some of the cubby doors have a little bit of water damage so we're gonna fix that up so that it looks nice again and we're gonna do some deep cleaning and we're gonna paint some of the walls little things like that put in burglar bars and um, yeah so we have those little renovations that we need to do but um, it's a good change. I'm excited for it. I'm gonna try and vlog here and there and show you guys the packing process, the moving process, um, and everything like that, and how we decorate the house and how we, you know, paint and everything like that. So if you're excited to see those kinds of videos, then please subscribe and share my videos with a friend if you think they might like it as well. That's the change that is coming up in our life. Another change that I wanted to talk about is my channel. So, you know, I watched a lot of YouTube videos about how to start a YouTube channel, how to run a YouTube channel, how to be successful with YouTube, how to gain lots of subscribers on YouTube. And those videos always said that you have to have a niche, you have to have a niche, and you have to have this one topic that you, you're talking about and people will find your channel because of that topic and they will keep coming back. And so I'm really passionate about um, budget and finance because I am on a debt-free journey. Um, if you want to see those videos about my debt-free journey and budgeting and finance, I will link them below in a playlist for you guys. Also, I'm really passionate about fitness and exercise and I also have a fitness and exercise and weight loss playlist for you guys that I will put in the cards and link down below um, because I 
I used to be really fit and really passionate about exercise. Obviously, my weight has gone up and down. I went on a whole journey. I explained everything in my weight loss series. And I, am, I have a goal to lose weight again i've obviously gained weight through pregnancy and stuff like that which i did i explained everything in the video so if you want to catch up please go down and watch those videos but because of everything going on right now in my life i have decided that losing weight is not going to be my number one priority at this moment in time that doesn't mean that i'm giving up on losing that doesn't mean i'm going to stop trying and that doesn't mean i'm not going to still eat healthy and try and exercise and things like that it just means that it's not going to be a number one priority we're moving right now so that kind of is something that is nervous and you know that needs to be we have a lot of things that we need to sort out for that and so i just didn't want to focus too much on weight loss right now and then get disappointed in myself so I've decided that that's not going to be my number one priority anymore it is on my priority list but it's a little bit lower down the only thing that is my priority right now is moving and getting situated getting the house you know um, ready for us to move in and um, yeah moving over there and setting everything up and hopefully once I get everything set up then I can put weight loss as my number one priority again. So with that said, my channel is still going to be about budgeting and finance because I still am on a debt free journey. Um, my channel is still going to be about weight loss and fitness because I am so passionate about that and um, I love it so much and I can't wait to get fit again. I can't wait to be fit again. I can't wait to lose weight and be fit, be able to run and exercise with my hubby. Um, that was our favorite thing to do and I just, I want to get back to doing that again. But for now, there's going to be a little bit of a change. You'll see more personal type videos, family vlogs, lifestyle videos. But yeah, so now you'll get some moving vlogs, you might get some birthday vlogs, um, no, because we had uh, two birthdays this weekend actually, my daughter's first birthday as well as uh, her grandpa's 70th birthday and so I might edit those vlogs and you'll end up seeing those vlogs here and there. I also film a baby clothing haul which you guys might see. I'm also planning on doing some hair videos, you know, some beauty videos. I'm not beauty guru at by any means in it at all but um, I just I love you know I love watching curly hair videos and curly hair routines so I'd like to show you mine um, I showed you dyeing my hair and I'm gonna show you cutting my hair I showed you shaping my eyebrows um, but at this moment again I'm break I'm embracing change it's really exciting for me I love making YouTube videos I'm so passionate about making YouTube videos it makes me happy I love filming videos I love talking to you guys I love um, interacting with you guys I love replying to your comments this is really fun for me and it's one thing that's making me really happy right now and I want to continue doing it and so I just want to do what I love and I don't want to be limited to just budgeting videos or to just fitness videos or to just um, you know whatever you know so hopefully you'll come along with my journey and um, I'm so grateful for you guys again for subscribing yeah thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and let's embrace change together I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again in the next one bye